Welcome everyone to the Freestyle Cast. I'm your host, Matrix Lord 212, and I'm with Scott. What's up, Scott? Free at last. Yay! Yeah, oh what the difference a video makes um is the topic here for the freestyle cast. Yeah. And not that we have topics in the freestyle cast, but uh, <laughs> we did a podcast the free and we showed five pages of mm -hmm. my videos demonetized. Now the thing is Again, all the time I do videos about the demonetization, I always say how much I love doing YouTube videos and I yeah. love YouTube. But you got to be critical of YouTube because, again, there's no reason these videos were. They're contradictory, actually. They yeah. have a double standard. Yeah. Now, I did get some videos that they would not release the hold on and I have reviewed that myself and I understand and I accept it. Like when we do like a who fire, there's a lot of cursing going on. Yeah. They, they get I, seated. I understand that. So I'll accept that. Uh, and there was another video, I guess, where I was vocal about Spider-Man being in Europe and Probably said a lot of curse words that were not part of. I'll let that go too. But they did release a good amount of videos. Not not enough yet, but yeah, I have a feeling that they will because this has been all day. I've been getting emails all day. And this hair is messed up. Sorry, that's good. All, all, all day I've been getting emails, which is great. Um, and again, here's the thing: it is very frustrating as a youtuber to see your work flagged all the time yeah it, that, uh, yeah i can understand that get you discouraged where maybe you don't want to do as much videos maybe you don't want to do podcasts all the time and stuff because you're like well what's the yeah. purpose if i'm gonna get flagged because it gets discouraging yeah it you, does you, you take the time to do this what you think and feel is this awesome job and then you turn around and find, uh, find out some algorithms decide, oh, you did one tiny little thing, and we're going to demonetize you. Well, I've said this in the past, and I'll keep saying it. I, I know it's going to sound like I'm beating a dead horse, but once they find out that, uh, I'm not going to say they were in the wrong, but once they have remonetized it, I personally think the, the YouTuber who they have that done to should get at least a quarter to a third or quarter to a half of the revenue back. Right. Which I know that's not happening. No. That's why not. I was joking that's around the, where if a lot of YouTubers would start saying that yeah. and start going after that, things will change. That's why I joked around. I'm like, I want a hat and I want a shirt at least. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you, can, you can mail it to me. You know? Um, so again, I, I like that finally a video was put to good use with the purpose last night and results are being are coming in positively towards the channel. Now, again, yeah. I have fun doing these shows. You have fun for years being in on yeah, there, you know. It's real fun. It's it's not a job. No. It's fun. It's a hobby. And we do it, you know, we do our stuff throughout the day. And then yeah. we do our stuff at night, you know, most of the time. Where it's, you know, before we go to bed, we'll do a, a cast or two, which, what are you going to mm -hmm. do outside anyway at like, you know, 10, 11, 12 o'clock at night? So, so it's a hobby and we have fun. But I also see it as like a hobby, like you're building your car in your garage and you're, you're maxing out, you know, your car and you're working on it. I work on this YouTube channel very yeah. well. And like, I, you know, look for news to see what content we could do and, I'm always trying to find a way to bring certain shows that we've done back, like Topic Wonders for a while that wasn't really good enough, I felt, stories to cover real-life yeah. topics. And then we get stuff like The Bagel Guy. That was pretty interesting. And now oh, Area 51 God. is a nice topic. And we will be doing Topic Wonders again. Um, sometimes the horror cast. There isn't enough material to do the horror cast. We don't do the horror cast. We haven't done the walking cast anymore, um, and we just got frustrated with that. So there was like a whole thing going on with that once. You know, I don't even know if we're going to bring that back. Yeah. Um, I think it's done, uh, but I, I could be wrong. But the everything show in the Real Hoovings, now we've been doing a lot of Real Hoovings lately because it's Doctor Who news. Yeah, that's getting annoying. 
which the only thing, I mean, I, I like doing real movie and stuff. Uh, I also really, I'm upset like that comic book cast type of thing we were doing. We were doing the mega comics cast or whatever we call yeah. comic casters. I really like that show and I like talking about comics, but I guess for some reason we don't get love with that. I don't know what's what's going on with that. So we've tried it numerous times to bring that show back. I'm going to try again. I don't know. I'm just... But the freestyle cast kind of took, like, people do enjoy. Not, we're not talking about, you know, going to the new In particular, it's just whatever comes, comes just to mind. relaxed and, you know, how was your day and blah, blah, blah. It's like, you know, we're not always doing, like, things, box office stuff. We're doing everything. Show, we're just shooting the breeze. Mm-hmm. You know, and I had a nice, I got to tell you, I walked around early this morning. Today was a good day. It was a good day health-wise. You know, I really had no problems. I felt good today. And I felt like, yes, last night I felt super motivated. Today, not only was I motivated, but I felt good, which is finally, you know, you know, sometimes like whatever, we something goes on with us, whether it be a virus, whether it be this, and we don't feel too hot. I, I honestly felt fucking fantastic today. And I'm sorry, I just demonetized this video by saying the F word, but it felt great today. So, um... And I love talking about Endgame. I know, David Blythe, you don't like that. but Yeah. And he uh, says about, like, what, 200,000 200, or something away? We are 7 million. That's, we basically okay. need to have a little bit of a margin to Avatar. We need, like, 7 million, 200,000. Okay. I remember something. I know it could be 7 million, 140, 7 million, 200,000. Let's just, yeah. let, let's just come on. So, um. Now, I know we got that from the foreign numbers because we reported this constantly. I, I thank you people for trying to educate us, but we've covered that already, that we know it's from India and we know it's from whatever. We know, you know, and I know I did a video trying to see where, that I know exactly where it was from, but back in our minds, we know that they had worked it out with India and certain places overseas to expand it. I really believe that somehow, some way, this movie will make that seven million two hundred thousand. I have no idea how, but we were dead set on our beliefs with Black Panther. Yes, that that was going to happen, and it looked like it was never going to happen, and it did. Right? Yeah. I honestly think, and here's the thing too, because I, I this is a debate we have to talk about with Chris. You know, I honestly have looked at the Avatar thing. They re-released it. There was added money to it. We're trying to beat the re-release number, yeah, right? It's the re-release that we're trying to get. Yeah. Which we, 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 you know, and you know what? I know people are mad at Endgame because they don't, like, I guess David Blythe doesn't want Endgame to be Avatar, right? But there is no asterisk, though. Because the there's, movie, no, the, was, the no, movie no, was never no. out of the theater. Ever. It may have been out of the main theaters. It's still in thousands of theaters. Uh-huh. When it leaves the theaters entirely. Completely, entirely. And then they then you could say it's a re-release with an asterisk. Yeah. But you can't say that now. And I don't care that you say I mean, I know David, like he's very passionate. I, I look, I'm passionate about stuff too, and it's it's a friendly debate. I'm not fighting David Blight because he's a he's pretty awesome and he has he's he's been a loyal follower for years and he's a subscriber and you know he talks to me on facebook and it's wonderful yeah. to talk to him about comic books and different things and you know it's wonderful to engage with your subscribers and and like he's one of the ones that we engage and i like, talk and it's fun to talk to him it's very smart and everything yeah. but like the thing is i it, it, i don't see endgame as like this has been done with all these movies like they do a thing and they expand the release. They have expanded the release in a wrinkle in time. Oh, and we were like, why did this happen? Remember? This is going they got all been out of shape because of some right, movie. They, uh. This has been going on with movies that weren't Disney. That yeah. they, they if months after they expand the release and it and it tricks or whatever they pull, whatever, right? So Disney is doing the same thing that everybody else does. It's allowed within the parameters of the rules that it's still in the theater. Mm-hmm. Okay? 
whether they okay, maybe if if they if the movie companies put the movie back in the theater, even though it stays in a thousand theaters, and then they made it to where four thousand theaters have it again. All right, maybe Disney says, all right, we're going to give you a perk. Yeah, you know, you could have this movie of ours for a lesser percentage profitability, right, or whatever, right. Disney's going to try to do it to get the end game, whatever, right? And that's fine because all movie companies do it. You can't just single out Disney, okay? James Titanic, Cameron is famous. Yeah. James Cameron, the Titanic was done and he re-released it. Avatar was done and he re-released it. People do it all the time, okay? So don't make it like it's a Disney thing and it's a trick and it's an asterisk. There is no, ne no asterisk next to end game. No, As of not. right now, and if there is, someone needs to show us, and we'll do a cast on it, but it's not, it has not left the theaters. Nope. Period. And you know what? If it leaves the theaters in two weeks, and Disney wants to re-release it, that's counted as a re-release. But they have every right to do it, just like Titanic yep. and Avatar and all these other movie companies do it. I went to see Ghostbusters, like, it was a couple years ago. They re-released it again. I don't know how many times, right? And we went to see it in the theaters, and I'm like, how great was this to see this in the theaters, right? It was yeah. like, what, maybe four years ago? That, yeah. that was considered well, three, four years ago, right? yeah. So they made, like, a couple of million. That was counted as, like, a re-re-re-whatever -re -re release, right? They made money. But, like, like, that's the whole thing. It's that people do it, though. I mean, they'll, they'll put... Didn't they put out like Independence Day and then they put out this and they put out that and they're like, they put out Star Wars out a million times <coughs> before it was even Disney? Like, yeah. come on. Why is this so like with Disney's, you have to be negative against Disney. That's what I don't understand. It's like, you know what? Who cares? Like, I want it to beat Endgame. I want Endgame to beat Avatar. Absolutely. And you know what? Everything has its time and everything must end, like Sarah Jane says in, in Doctor Who. And you know what? The thing is, there will be a time when Endgame gets defeated. I understand mm -hmm. that. And I'm fine with that. But right now, you know. Avatar is the gold ring we're shooting for. We need to beat Avatar. Plain and simple. Because somebody, somebody threw that gauntlet down anyway, so. We must well succeed. There, yeah. is no, it, 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 there is no, no, we must succeed. We must beat Avatar. And Disney, you know what? I, we're at this point. Disney will probably be like, all right, we need to make seven million two hundred thousand. We'll spend eight just to get. <laughs> it's like, who cares? You know, like I, I want it to beat it. I want it to beat it, man. It deserves it more than Avatar does. Of course, Avatar. People don't understand. With Avatar, the reason why it made so much money was the fact that it was heavy three D. Yes. But the ticket price was triple. One person going to the movies mm -hmm. was triple. It was like it was, twenty-two dollars. Oh, it was ten here. No, it, it was, was like in, 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 it was like I remember it was like over twenty something dollars per person. So now we picture that a regular ticket at the time was six dollars, right? Mm -hmm. Now it's twenty something dollars. That's like it's ridiculous. It's more than triple. It's almost quadruple, right? This is how it was number one for a long time because when did you ever have movies where you spent twenty dollars for a damn movie? Uh -huh. It was ridiculous. Yeah, and it looked good three D wise. It looked great. Yeah, so that's they why built it's it on a they built it on an uh, upcoming system, and that's one of the reasons why it works so well. Now, I'm, Endgame, you know, that is not like three D centric. It's not like no. that movie has to be seen in three D. So of course, it's not making the 3d money constantly yeah. from beginning to end maybe some theaters will have a thing but it's 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 now in culture it's lost its appeal to 3d yeah because i remember because it was shortly after that movie where they had the whole let's have the 3d tv the correct glasses and all and that it bombed. It and, bombed. and yeah and, and i knew full well and that's when i was working for sears Maybe we, it I mean, we were pushing the 3D stuff, oh, yeah. and I'm thinking this is a gimmick. It's not going to last. the The glasses alone were about twenty, thirty, twenty to thirty yes. bucks for for a pack of two. Yes. And and 
you know what? Maybe when Avatar 2 comes out, they'll bring the 3D back like never before and utilize it. And maybe Avatar 2 will beat Endgame. You know what? It, it, whatever. But the main thing is we need Endgame to win. I need it to win. And maybe you, not you. But I need to win. So, Marvel guy. All right. Um, so, speaking of Sears, uh, Sears and Staten Island's ending. Gone. Done. And again, it used to be two floors, and they shrunk it down to one yep. floor. And it, it, it looks like a shadow, a pale of its former self. And they have everything squished. You want a lawnmower or you want a bra? Well, they're right yeah. next to each other. <laughs> was it set up to sell Because I know here the way it was it set up. Was, I got to tell you, I, it was such a cluster. Yep, like, I know. Honestly, I well. it makes me like I'm used to when my Sears was spacious and Everything had its place, but when you're so on top of each other's and the departments don't make sense because there's no space, I do Sears even... set up in the same way to where the mall owned the top level and Sears owned the bottom level? No, well, well Sears, like, Sears owned both. Sears. They used Sears, to own Sears. both. The way it was set up is the mall had the other top yeah. level, and they were pretty much like renting it. Sears and was an anchor. Sears owned the bottom the level. Only owned the bottom level. Here's here was Sears up two floors connected yeah. to the mall, so yeah. it was an anchor for one side, one end, one thing of the mall, right? Yep. So yeah. when Sears went bad, they eliminated, they sold, like they lost the whole top floor to Primark, which Primark is like my favorite place now, like so whatever. And they squished everything. And the weirdest thing I was not understanding is. They made. They spent all this money for a brand new Sears entrance with a new damn logo and a new thing. And I'm like, if it's going out of business, why are you effing bother? They even yeah. got rid of their pickup area where you would have to drive over and pick up your stuff. They didn't oh, even the have UK that new area. Whoa. We even had a whole pickup area that became like a containment store or so whatever. That, you know. And That's so they got rid of two major things. And then when I would go in there, it would be so. Like, it would look like a damn yard sale. Mm -hmm. It was disgusting where I, I just, from decades of going to Sears, I just could not bear to look at it. Where I would not, I would always cut through Sears to go into the mall because I would like yeah. to walk. I don't like to, like the type where you just go park by the mall and walk in the mall. Yeah. Me, I always like, my parents was always too, like, get a little exercise in there if you're not going to do whatever. So walk, you know. So I would walk from Sears to, to Macy's because it was like Sears. Macy's. And when we had the new wing, it was J.C. Penney. So it was yeah. Sears, J.C. Penney's, Macy's. Now they expanded everything out, and you got all these new wings, and it, like different things, right? So, but that was always the thing. Now I never... Basically, Sears, the Sears here built the mall. This is what they always say. Yeah. Sears was the anchor store, but they pretty much brought in the mall. Right. So, But they did. Pretty, they were famous back then. Yeah. So ours was pretty much, you had Sears, Penney's, uh, Macy's and Dillard's, right? And then uh, Sears pretty much was kicked out. Well, so I think we're gonna those. lose. I think we're gonna. I honestly, it's sad, but I think we're gonna lose either J.C. Penney's or Macy's. Yeah, that's what I I've see been that's hearing. happening. That's and like, I fear Macy's, Macy's been been just been on Rocky Macy's, Ground as well. If Macy's goes under, you're not gonna have the parades anymore. You're not gonna have the fireworks display. You're not gonna have any of that stuff. No. So that sucks. Because so. Macy's here used to be Foley's, and then Macy's bought Foley's. Right. But you know what it is? The re retail stores, they're either they're not the getting... The border stores are dying because of... Uh, uh, of and I, I'm, I'm guilty of it, too, so I'm not uh, doing the whole pot to call kettle black, but a lot of the stuff is going online. And I had contacted uh, two other other retailers only one of them got back with me and and they said thank you but we're focusing more on our online service but we'll keep that in mind if we ever do this okay thank you so uh, like we're in a situation where jc pennings and macy's way may be done the way best buy is and i get i get i like best buy but best buy is starting i don't know why they charge them more money for the tvs so I'm getting annoyed with that. And then they don't even have the soundtracks anymore, really, like they used to music. And then yeah. they mix in stuff too, like Sears. 
where it's starting to look like they're going out because they got preschool next to preschool toys, which when did they carry that next to like video games? And I'm like, oh, well, Amazon is now doing the whole, whole uh, I think Kenmore, hmm. and you can get that stuff within two days or one two days. Wow. I mean, we so. have we have technically uh, two targets. There's a three targets. Trying to think, but anyway, I know, we used to, I know we have targets. one super duper target, and that's up by Fuddruckers, which I need to get back to. Oh, this yeah. one might go to uh, Thursday. Yeah, and I'm sort of—I know I'm sounding like I'm getting off topic, but I'm sort of a week ahead. I thought, oh, good, uh, I'm going to go see uh, uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood this Thursday, and then I thought, oh, wait a minute, that's next Thursday. Yeah. I mean, that's next week that comes out, not this week. <laughs> Yeah, well, I we really, yeah, <laughs> no. we have to happen sometimes. Though. Uh, everybody was asking me if I was affected by the blackout. Um, yes, it was the anniversary of the was it seventy seven blackout in New York mm -hmm. or something like that. Okay, here's the thing. I'm from Stat. I'm from Staten Island. Yeah, I'm on an island. So I'm on an island. Yeah, there's water, and then there's New York City. Yeah, uh, so you, there's separate York parts. Even right. though Staten Island is considered part of New York City. I mean, like New legally, like connected that, but yeah. we're on an island. So, yeah. like, if something happens in the city, technically, in the city, on a, on a different, you know, yep. I might not be affected. So, so the whole thing was that there was something that happened in the city, a majority yeah, of the let's, city let's was affected. So based on a power line. Right, and we weren't affected because we're in over the water yeah. beyond things on an island, so we're, we're fine. I mean, sometimes I guess something could happen if it's, I don't know how, with the water, but whatever. So we uh, weren't affected. But I know people were going to J-Lo concert. That guy, I wasn't got, you know, oh. cousin went to a J-Lo concert. So, like, the, like, the lights went out. People trapped in elevators. It was a scary thing, I'm sure. Yeah. People trapped in elevators, true, trapped everywhere, complete blackness. You know, you can't see what's going on. That must have been really traumatic. Hopefully everybody got home safe. Um, so that was that. Uh, what else do I want to say? Oh, yeah. Remember I was telling you how I was wearing a different hoodie for every picture? I was like, I have a lot of hoodies. Damn. <laughs> I want more hoodies, though. I want to get a new hoodie. I don't know why. I just want new colors. Um, all right. So we got a lot to talk about on the Everything Show. May get heated. What we're gonna we're gonna do on the Everything Show? Does it have to do with a certain character? Well, yes, but I don't want to spoil it on here. I'm not saying another word. I, I I know that I'm gonna say that if the cast gets out of control, I can understand if it's not gonna have. I'm uh, talking about the Everything Show we're about to do. Yeah. I can understand if it gets demonetized. I understand. But there, there's a way about going about doing things and certain topics or certain things we go so strongly about that I can't control if I'm going to curse or not in this one. So this is got, this might be pretty amusing. We to might stop. have a uh, Doctor Who reveal part two. It, you know what? It... it it, it sucks because here's the thing. I just had this thing where YouTube's restoring my videos. And now to do a video where I'm like flipping the F out. Uh, I don't know. This is going to be rough. But it's needed. Sorry. I can't, I can't hold it back. I can't, I can't um, give you a no frills version. I can't uh, give you a rated G version about my... Here's a here's a here's a G-rated version or PG-13 version. Welcome to the Everything Show. I am Matrix Order Two One Two. This is the Blind Dyslexic. Thank you for watching. Good night. <laughs> That's what we're gonna be. That is a rated G version. <laughs> oh boy! I have to see who's gonna be in this cast. This is gonna get ugly. And people have been anticipating this. They're like, 
Oh my god! And I can understand why, because there's like no use, and it's and right now it's not even one hundred percent certain. Well, so. it's pretty certain, I guess. Yeah. All right, the mystery will unfold as we talk about the twenty fifth movie of whatever. All right, thank you guys. Take care. Bye for now.